welcome back. I just got back from the house yesterday in the morning, and now I'm driving back up there today. Uh, overnight, they got another six to eight inches of snow. Uh, Melissa said you can't even see, hardly see the driveway. So I came down and visited with my dad. Uh, I picked up that radial arm saw that I talked about. Um, checking out yesterday on my way home. We'll take a look at that, that's in the back of the truck. And I'm gonna snowball that driveway again. I have to shoot back down here tomorrow and then I'm gonna go back up to the house tomorrow afternoon. As we get up here a little ways, maybe 40 or 50 miles up, halfway, uh, the roads are gonna start to get pretty bad. This could be a tricky commute. Uh, this morning when I looked, I mean, it's 9.30 right now. Uh, all the roads up there were snow covered, so it'll be interesting to see. I have the last of Melissa's cats is in the truck here in a, one of those little cages. She had one that I could not capture, and uh, I don't know. I finally, I finally got it last night in a, one of my live traps using a can of cat food, so it gets to go up there and be in a nice warm area with all the other cats. It's 26 degrees, and that's what my truck says. I believe the temperature is going to be dropping today all day, and we might have the coldest weather of the season tonight. Uh, some places might get to even 15 or 20 below zero. I know that where my brother Chris and sister in law Teresa live, which is probably three hours west and a little bit north of right here, it's already nine below and it's snowing out. So all that cold weather is going to be kind of filtering down this way, and it could be a really cold night tonight. Set on the radio that tomorrow morning air temperature will be around 14 below Fahrenheit, below zero. The wind chill value will be around 47 degrees below zero. <laughs> That's a little chilly. If you look on the bottom left right there, you can see him dumping the salt on the road. in the ditch. He was just in front of us. He was going really fast and he had that snow blower on the back. I was wondering why he was in that fast lane. It looks like he'll think twice next time. Well, I'm finally off the interstate. I'm only about, I don't know, maybe six miles from the house. I'm going to stop at the grocery store quick and uh, then I'll head towards the house.
animals there. Well, I've been here for a couple hours now. I think it's time to snow blow this driveway. Hopefully it won't drift over. All the snow was cleared out. I did the snow blowing. Melissa came back behind with the shovel and did those areas. Now if it doesn't drift over overnight, we'll be good. Oh, what's that? <laughs> huh? Well, it's about four below right now. It is about 10.30 at night. I'm just letting the dogs out for the last time. It's actually New Year's Eve tonight, so we're just gonna stay up until the ball drops at 11 o'clock and then we'll be going to bed. But earlier on my way up, I said I would show you this radial arm saw, so I wanted to make sure I did. I'm not sure how good you can see it here, but it should allow me to uh, cut probably a 15 or 16 inch wide board. So pretty happy to have that. And I'll have to show you that in more detail later because it's freaking cold out here. That wind is brutal. Well, that's it for tonight. Melissa and I made a ham. She made uh, black-eyed peas and cabbage, cornbread, everything they do down south for New Year's Day. And I'll see you guys in the morning.
guys on the next video.